and welcome back to my part two of Hogwarts Legacy. For some reason, YouTube decided to put my video in for um, what's the correct term? Audience for kids only. Fucking hell, boy! Let's get in some swear words before we start. We don't want we want this to be audience for everyone, not just for kids. You know, I ain't for kids. I'm not here to do kids. You know what I mean? I'm not interested if kids watch it. Kids can go and do one. I don't I don't want audience for kids. This is for an adult entertainment because let's face it, I'm gonna be sucking holer. Oh T and T PG tips. Hello mate. Mate, send me send me your new number. Send me your new number. I tried to ring you at Christmas time, dude. Numbers disconnected. Text me on your new number. Private message me. Send me a private message, TNT PG Tips. I have to get back on Red Dead and kill some dickheads. Anyway, today it's about the legacy, the Hogwarts legacy. Let's rock and roll. Oh, party, mate. Mate, I can I can add you to party. I can add you to party for a bit. Let me just let me just get my game up and running and I'll add you in. Oh okay mate. Okay. Nice. I see you changed your icon. I've only just started yesterday, PG. Let's get this going. Let's let's get this rock and rolling. Fucking hell, man. Audience for kids. What's, what's YouTube doing to me? I'm only rank. How do I get my ranking, man? Yeah, level one, dude. A level uno one. Numero uno one. Now, guys, where do we leave off? Where do we? Oh, I've got to talk to Professor Fig. Professor Fig rolls. Hey, see my skirt. See my skirt. This definitely is not for kids. Right, let's go. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you? masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival. I did. Mm, yes, I did, sir. You did, sir. What? You did, sir. What? I did, sir. Oh, did I hear you did, sir? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Understood, Good. Professor Figroll. As capable Where's my you tea? Are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold yeah. it and have a look. Yeah, I will have a look, dude. I will have a look. Oh, PG, I'll add you to this one, mate. I'll add you to this one, because I need to be in my stream so I can comment on what's going on. What am I... No. Oh, well, maybe once, I'm not sure. Okay. Charm class. Defense against the dark arts class. I will invite you, PG. One second, dude. One second. One second. The 
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Oh. Thank you. Is this that PG no, in here, dude? Like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and is that all right? hogs meat for supplies, including your own one. Yeah, he will. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious Very really young guy. It's like now, 18, 19. Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Ooh. Yo, PG. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. I tried to ring you over Christmas. What's the crack with your phone number? Did you get a new one? What? You were making prank calls. Uh. Do you still have my number? Well, just send me a WhatsApp message to have your number. Yeah, do it. Do it, mate. Do it. And I'll, I'll replace one with the other. How have you been keeping, all right? Cool. Cool. Yeah, send me a picture of Are you been playing are you been playing are you been playing Red Dead? How can I get how can I get this page? How can I get this, Ben? How can I get this page? I, I haven't got it yet. I haven't got it yet. I must have to get that spell, do I? I only, I only started yesterday, dude. Yeah, about time you got a decent headset. Yeah, I just have the normal settings. Yeah, my mate's in party here, Ben. I don't know if you chatted to Ben before. He's, he's level 20. Halfway there. Highest level is 40. What are you up to now? Yeah, that's all right. Mate, mate, YouTube, you, YouTube classified my video for kids. Huh? I don't want to be. I don't want. Don't want to be streaming to kids. It's not interested in kids. Hmm. Stupid five. My well, dog hasn't been on for a while, mate. I haven't seen my dog for a bit it's because we don't play Red Dead anymore. We've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was yeah, Maddock has that. I don't know if he's played much of, of it yet, though. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poke during in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. 
God of War 2 is very similar to God of War 1, though, dude. Death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. What the noiva? something a little larger. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. Let us begin with a basic cast. Oh, I forgot the buttons again. Deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent. Now, the basic cast. Well done. With you two. Duelist, take your marks. Oh, so, yeah, I want to ream this lad. <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. You're good. That was best Thank you. Super five. Not bad for a beginner. Now that guy got reamed by me. Hmm. I mm. put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, <laughs> and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Hey, what nice we got work. here? Ravenia. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel.
That is wicked. And you can one shot dudes. quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was <laughs> dueling an expert. Sebastian Salo, by the way, didn't expect a new <laughs> student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. <laughs> Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh man, but everyone needs to get wrecked, mate. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Resource indeed, your field guide. I yeah, I must put that up on my I must put that up on my YouTube channel actually. My young friend. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. I'm, some of us don't necessarily... Rebellion. 
And then the werewolves joined the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flat? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flag. <laughs> Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boo, and Your it wasn't baby flag, back, bitch, but you're in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Mm. What, Elder Ring? Yeah, yeah. Ben, what's this lock? How do we do this? Yeah. Okay, so zero, one, two, three, four, five. That thing. Mm hmm. And then the bottom one. So one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the octopus type one. Yeah. That.
No. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool. There's a chest here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I'm right on it. Probably, I'm, I'm probably underneath it. Or probably above it. I tried to transfigure my pot when he's a blind. Let's, let's get this quest. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. <laughs> Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Oh, that's how I get the pages. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see Akio El Shmakio. Potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally mm. lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air after me ah. i've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery as i'm sure the quidditch players amongst us would agree hmm? <laughs> so what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Simply cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at an impossible moment. Now, stay focused. What do I have to do? Splendid! 
Not to worry. How do I stop it? I can't stop it. I did. Very good. I'll cast the spell again. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Alright, because I, I, I was pressing the button. Give me the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What? Okay, so she got some points. That's what I'm going to try and do. I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. I need to, I need to line up well. properly. Well oh. done. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Peace up. Typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Do not think I will start to see you right now. That's it! Watch this. Oh, the spell wouldn't let go. The best of us. Very good, both of you. Well done.
Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. A word, if you would. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson. I, I just wanted to work on interact well, with this dude, but I had the um, aim exactly thing the on. I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though Not I yet. sense that she is a bit... I've got to put it on now shortly. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing nice. for you. Okay. So that was that done, charm class. So at least I can catch my pages now. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to <laughs> see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Okay. Off level lock, okay. See what's up here. Rebellion.
rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. Unlock. Yo, Wendland, how you doing, pal? Yeah. Just started, Wendland, mate. Literally started yesterday. This is like my second go. Wendland, Wendland must be um, got a lot of time in his hands to go through the game twice. Missed that comment. Ah, thanks, Edlund, mate. I'm hoping to enjoy it too. Sound a little lucky at the minute. Bit of a dead end. <laughs> I know I can fast travel, but I'm just having a little bit of a, um, a looky at the minute. In Transfiguration, I switched the writing ink for the proper one. I think Revelio is my most favoured spell at the minute. Ooh. Rebellion. 
Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from a fight. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I knew I'd... Well, where to now? I suppose I'll have to go to this, um... Hmm. Oh, it just leveled up. Just leveled up, PG. Rank two. I'll be caught up to PG in no time, man. I just, I just like finding all of these flu flames because that means I can just fast travel. Prefect school uniform. Hmm. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I wonder what it was like in Hogsmeade. Revelio. Can you sit down on these little benches? No, you can't. Secret door, nice. Convenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Rebellion.
Ravenia. This, this is so, there's so many different elements, even to this little Hogwarts castle. Weasley's after class. Hmm. common room. Yeah, my one's pretty cool. H H H Hufflepuff is for queers though. Oh, I can't place anything in the house chest. Is this where you can donate some stuff? He knows he's a queer. <sighs> oh, there is. Mm, no, no. Hold on, I'm just, I'm just trying to find my bearings here. Guys, excuse me. Um, okay, right. Let's go and let's go and progress this. Let's go and progress this. I, I was trying to find some book pages, you know. No. I want to find some book pages so I can try my assessio skill. What are you up to now? open up the, uh, the thing so I mean the only thing really to do is look how big the map is
Okay, so what? Let's try and do this. So, that rep represents the number. Eight. So it's eight and nine, so I need four. One. Yeah, so zero, one, two, three, four, that one up here. So, where is my, where's my roll thing? So that means, oh, hold on, I need, I need to have a look at the, okay, so that one on the, oh yeah, I went past it. That one. So that does the top one. And then the bottom one. So the hot. So the Hydra. Is three. So I need five. You're right. I need five. So. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So I need not that one. That one. Ooh. Got a stat statue. And out. Uh, Rosta Motley Garb. Hmm. I need to go to... I need to go to Central Station. Um... Yeah, I th yeah. So, can I can I set the waypoint? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, Lord. Okay. <laughs> I will. Pidgey, what are you like, dude? <laughs> don't be, don't be, don't, don't be, don't be giving away all of the secrets. You know, to told you to keep that quiet. <laughs>
yeah, to track that. That's where I'll, that's where I want to go. Oh, let's follow the trail. Yeah, let's follow the trail. Follow the golden sunshine ray. This is massive, hey. myself a flu station is there any i wanted to see if i could find any pages of some books oh what you got here man Man, I should be playing stray. Uh. Right, let's start this quest and see how we get on. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Go on. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, mate. <clears throat> Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's Potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I 
I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine mm. craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks suits me down to the ground, people. Okay, speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by the Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their previous in the quest menu of your field guide. Hmm. Reparo sounds pretty good. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Let's go, Professor. Let's do these tasks. Collect the flying pages near the broken statue. Okay. Okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying pages. Oh, camera. I don't want I don't I don't need that. I just need to look at the page. Must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I 
completed the assignments, Professor. I needed two out of eight, though. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending Pages. charm a try, then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Okay, okay. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay, where's this broken... Where is this broken statue? That's it guys, I think I want to leave it there for now. We streamed, we did a little bit, and yeah, we'll meet um, Natty at the entrance in a little bit. Time to get a bite to eat, and we'll see you soon.